the first section on the functions of each button of the remote control. This is the remote control on off button. Operate with the power off. Short press to check the built-in battery level of the remote control. Long press to turn on the remote control. Operate with the remote control switched on. Press briefly to turn the screen off to save power. Press and hold to turn the screen off. Tap to turn off the power. Same operation. You can tap to restart the screen to take a screenshot. This is the return to flight button. Short press to return a drone in route operation to its starting point. This is the flight mode button. P is the positioning mode. A is the attitude mode. Attitude mode is normally switched off by default. I when the gear is in A, it is still in position mode. Flight mode switch. You do not need to operate it during normal operation. This is the horizontal movement button. The remote control can be customized for shortcut functions or support the development of further functions. This is the speaker hole and this is the punch button. This is a quick hit button for editing the route. This is the lanyard hole. The lanyard can be attached to the neck to prevent damage to the remote control if dropped. This is the lower antenna. The antenna unit needs to be positioned perpendicular to the ground and upwards. It is mainly used to receive GPS information from mobile or fixed base stations. These are the two figure data transmission antennas before the drone takes off by adjusting the corresponding tension angle so that they are aligned as closely as possible to the drone. The commands of the remote control as well as the images are transmitted via these two antennas. This is the USB interface for connecting the RTK High Precision Positioning Module. This is the spray button. Short press to turn the spraying on or off manually. This is the obstacle avoidance button. Short press to manually switch on or off the obstacle avoidance radar. This is the SIM card slot. SIM eSIM R provides wireless network to the remote control. This is the Type C connector charges the remote control. This is the heat sink. This is the carrying handle. This is the battery compartment bay. The battery cover is opened by pressing the bayonet button. This is the edge button. You can customize the remote control's shortcut functions. Recommended setting is camera switching. The next step is to demonstrate how the remote control can be levered. One finger and two finger operation. We will use the relatively easy to use E finger to explain. Press the thumb one third of the way down on the remote control rocker. Drag the other fingers onto the remote control. Note when using the remote control. No pulsating sticks. No finger of the stick during manual flight. Finally, we explain the stick operation of the remote control. Both the left and the right sticks have two operations, up and down. Here is a basic explanation of the operation with the American hand. By using both joysticks inwards at the same time to unlock the aircraft, the up and down of the left stick is for lifting and lowering the aircraft. The left and right joysticks are for steering the aircraft. The up and down of the right stick is the forward and backward movement of the aircraft. Left and right are the left and right travels of the aircraft. In case of emergency, in an emergency, the aircraft can be locked by using both joysticks. The aircraft can be locked. Section 2. Remote control to frequency. Firstly, go to the first screen and enter the device management. Select the remote control option. Place the aircraft with the flight control down and tilt it more than 20 degrees. Select start frequency pairing on the remote control and wait. Wait until you are prompted with a successful pairing.
At this point, the top left corner will indicate that the aircraft is connected. Section 3, Precautions for Use.